Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Huh? Check here. i7 and RTS graphics. Predator uh, Triton 300. Now, what's the problem with this laptop? Let's check the customer email. So the customer is saying, I opened the laptop to install new thermal pads and new thermal paste. When I put everything back, the internal display is detected, but does not work. Laptop works fine with the external display. I'm sure if I damage the lid or connector in some way. So that's what happened with the, with the laptop. Now let's uh, check to see if indeed if it's working. Pressing the power button, it is coming on. And we have the, the startup sound, but it's no picture on the screen, nothing. I mean, it's not, no backlight and no picture. So uh, I will say, let's try to have a look to see what happened there. This is a coarse fault. Coarse faults uh, are kind of hard to be repaired. But let's try to help him. Okay, so the laptop is open. Now I'm curious to check first, because we have the startup sound, to check the, the screen connector. So let me power on, and the laptop is on, and let's check uh, around the screen connector. So what do we have here? Here we have 14.4, okay, so that's present. Here we have 5.2, not sure what's that. And here we have 3.3. I mean, everything is looking fine here. I can understand if it's no backlight. But when the 3.3 is present, yeah, and you can see that, you can test it on any laptop. Let's say the laptop is off, doesn't have to be on. You come with the 3.3 on the 3.3 volts. Uh, power rail from the screen and you will see the screen is changing the color but on this one I can't see any change so let me power off let me try to bring some light power on Nothing, so it's no change on the on the screen uh, color or polarization because that's what is happening. So uh, not sure what should I say, but what the customer called damage. The screen connector is fine; it's no issue. The screen cable, you think the screen cable? Or actually the screen itself. I'm not sure on which way we should go. But what I'm thinking, it is possible he pulled the cable and it is possible the screen to came out from the screen, the cable to came out from the screen. I mean we have the 3.3 there. We have the 19, but just, you know, the main power, you have, we have 14. But just because you have 14 doesn't mean you will have backlight. Because you need other signals from the, uh, from the EC chip. So, uh, I think the best shot for us is to go straight to the screen. Okay, so the frame is out, and here is looking okay, but I cannot count on that, just because it's looking okay, doesn't mean it's good. The problem is this is a slim screen, so how we can take this screen out? Do you think the screen has the fingers? Uh, the rubber polars. 
but I cannot see them to pull the the rubbers out. No, are no rubber fingers. This one? You think it's this one? Or what is this one? Can be. Yeah, those are the ones. And now it's coming out nicely. Yeah, we done it here. But they didn't left like you know just to to grab them like a end perfect yeah All good. Yeah, and it's out. We done it. We done it. Check here. Long rubber fingers. And now we can check the screen. And the connector it is plugged in. That's bad. It is plugged, right? Yeah, looks like. is looking fine look we have the wires we have the data then uh, probably here is the 3.3 3. and everything is fine here Okay, let me try to power on. It is possible the customer, uh, probably he unplugged the screen connector with the battery plugged in. And that's quite bad. I mean, we can have like a dead graphic. Even if the laptop is starting. But the customer said it's working on HDMI. And I know we have a multiplexer somewhere, which can be faulty. Let's check together. So I will power on the laptop, power on. And the laptop start. Let's see what voltages do we have here. We have ground, and here we should have like 3.3, .3. and we do have, we have 3.2, and here we have 1 volt, 14 volts. Oh, okay, that's bad. Wait a second. But why we don't have backlight? Hmm? Hmm. 
We have picture. Lol, I didn't see the picture. Check here. So you can see like a square thingy. We have picture. We don't have backlight, but we do have picture. I can see the picture here somewhere. Okay, okay. Then, then it's fine. Okay, let's diagnose the no backlight. Yeah, so we have picture, but no backlight. <sighs> so we know uh, we should be able to repair this. Can't believe. I didn't see the picture because you will not see the picture. If you watch straight to the screen, you will not see the picture. But if you watch from an angle like this, you will see it's a square here. Not sure if you can see it. Wow. Okay. Now everything uh, uh, seems more simple. Okay, we have to reach the inverter. Yeah, that's what we have to do. What the customer did wrong? Well, probably the inverter is good. So I'm assuming the customer unplugged the screen with the battery plugged in. And uh, the EC chip is partial dead. And when I'm saying partial dead, probably it's working fine. But the LED on and the dim light signals are not, uh, are not working anymore. Perfect. So we have access to the inverter. Yeah, we have access. We have. All good. Okay, let's check. Let's check. So that's our inverter. Let's check the voltage first. So the voltage on the inverter is zero volts. Huh? Maybe I don't have ground. Zero volts. How can be zero volts on the inverter? So here we should have 14 volts. Because 14.8, zero. So what do you think about that? Huh? You know, I believe it was just a coincidence, actually... The laptop died. Uh, uh, the laptop died when the customer replaced the thermal paste. I mean, what the customer could possible do to burn the inverter, backlight inverter fuse? You can't. You can't. You can't burn it. So it was just a coincidence. Now, all what we need. It's a little bit of flux. Yeah, I know. The battery is still plugged in. I know that. I know. I know. But we are doctors. Yeah, we are performing live uh, surgeries, right? Yeah, let me find a proper calibrated fuse. Okay, we solder the wire there. We should be careful because on this wire we have 14 volts, voltage from the battery. Perfect. And I think we are ready. Let's check, let's see. Hmm? Pressing the power button. Hmm? Check here. Huh? What do you think about that? <laughs> it's working. We have picture. Yeah, and it's loading the windows. Can't believe. Can't believe. Wow. I mean, you know, from my electronic point of view, you cannot burn that fuse. You can't do it. You can't do it. Whatever you short here, whatever you do, you can't burn that fuse. So it must be a coincidence. All perfect. So what I'm going to do, we still have the rubber thingy here. It actually is metal. So I'm, I'm going to use B7000. 
because B7000, uh, you can take it out very easily if you heat up the, let's say, the back of the screen. So, uh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. That's all. I don't want to stack this. Better cooling, you know what I mean? I mean, we are joking, but we are not really understand what why that fuse blow up. Uh huh. It blow up once, can happen next time again. I'm still thinking, what what you can possible do to burn the the backlight fuse? And the only way to burn that fuse is to short the output, and the output is actually is the LEDs. All perfect. Let's put the frame back. So it is a good job or not, just say it. Pressing the power button. And the laptop is coming on and we have picture. Solid, no problems, all good. What a job. Wait, this was supposed to be on the back cover, right? Yeah. Then plug the battery, plug the battery back. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, coincidence can happen. Initially, I was thinking, you know, because most of the people, what happen, they over, over clean the things, like over clean the CPU or the GPU, and they end up with, you know, just, just a tiny piece of glass from the CPU or the GPU are coming out and it will stop working. But it was not the case. It was not the case here. I mean, if the customer want to, if you want to improve something on a laptop, then probably I will stack uh, like a big chunk of uh, thermal pad here on the, on the, on the chipset and here on the, on the SSD. Those things are getting mad hot. Then probably on the charging coil, this charging coil, it will get mad hot. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I'm happy I uh, helped this customer. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, only if you like it. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.